everyone welcome back to my channel and today I am doing the winter is coming book tag which as this is going to come out on the 21st of December which is the winter solstice technically it's here so I first saw this video on Anne's bookish corner and she had tagged the original uh, creator named Catherine, so I have that tagged down below. And I have both of those videos tagged down below. So questions. All right, so number one, snow. It is beautiful when it falls, but then it starts to melt. A book or book series that you loved at the beginning, but then at the middle of it, you realize you don't like it any longer. And now this answer is going to probably be controversial because my answer is Harry Potter. I really enjoyed the first three books. The third one, The Prisoner of Azkaban, is my favorite. And then in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, number four, there was a tonal shift for me. Or at least it was a big tonal shift for me. And there were just so there were just too many holes in the plot for me to really enjoy it. And then after that, Harry just got really whiny and I wanted to slap him. And I, so I finished the series because I had invested so much time into it, but I no longer loved it as when I read the first three books. And so when I read it, reread the series, I tend to re reread only the first three books. So hate me if you dare. Number two, Snowflake. Something beautiful and always different. Choose a book that stands out that is different from all the other books you've read. And the book that came to mind is a nonfiction called A Smile as Big as the Moon by Mike Kersis. By Mike Kersis. So this is a true story. or a So this is a memoir of Mike's experience as a teacher in a special education classroom. Now his classroom is a high functioning, is what in education lingo they consider a high functioning classroom. Uh, the kids are like ADD, ADHD, maybe some behavioral problems, Down syndrome. These are people who are not stupid. They are have their full mental faculties and are aware of what's going on around them. They just have some learning disabilities or they learn differently. And this story is how his class was interested in going to space camp. Base, was going, his class was interested in going to space camp and how they were able to make that happen and give the class a good experience, like a good and supportive experience. And yeah, it, it just makes me smile to see how much, you know, not only did the educators care, but the parents cared as well. They, I mean, they got a lot of parent, parental help to get to make this happen and yeah it's just nice to see you know show that even though even though you might consider somebody out out for the count they're not and give them the opportunity and the chance and they're going to surprise you number three snowman it is always fun to make one with your family so choose a book that the whole family could read and for this, I chose The Dragon with the Chocolate Heart by Stephanie Burgess. And in this story, it is of a young dragon who has decided to rebel against her parents, and she's going to go find a human to eat, and the human tricks her instead and gives her hot chocolate, and she loves it. And in the process of that, she, the human is actually a mage, and she turns, and the dragon turns into a human. And then decides to go learn to be a chocolatier. And it's just a it's just a very loving like book. I yeah. Four. Christmas. Choose a book that is full of happiness and made you warm inside after reading it. And for this one I chose Who Gets the Drumstick by Helen Beardsley. This is the true story that inspired the movies Yours, Mine and Ours. The older version, of course, is closer to the book than the newer version. 
but how it, for me it's very heartwarming is it's showing how two families decided to come together despite one being a family with 10 kids and the other being a family of eight kids. You know, shows how families really can blend together. You know, so many times in media, um, we see fighting people. So like in, especially, so this is a huge difference between the original Yours, Mine, and Ours and the new version with Dennis Quaid. In the new version, the kids are unhappy about parents getting married, and so there's lots of fighting going on. In the older version, there's a little bit of that. I mean, but not as much angst as the new version. In the book, there isn't that. The kids do mention some misgivings, but overall, they really just want their parents to be happy, and they're excited to have siblings. And so I think the book is very much worth the read, even if you've seen the movies, because you are going to see how it wasn't just the parents making the decision to come together. The kids also made it. And so the kids also worked to make it work. Number five, Santa Claus. He brings wonderful presents. Choose a book that you'd like to get for Christmas. Now, my husband and I don't actually give Christmas gifts and the person who in my family who normally gives me a book for Christmas is my sister and she hasn't given me anything for any books for a while yeah I just called her out but it's okay because I don't since I don't give gifts I don't expect her or anybody else to give me a gift um, but if somebody wanted to know of a book that I want that I would like to own I do have a hundred and six books on my shelf on Goodreads that says want to own or what to buy. I think it, I think it's listed as want to buy. Yes. And I'd be happy with any of those. Number six, snow bowling. It can be painful to be hit by a snowball. Choose a book that hurt, that made you feel some strong emotion like sadness or anger. And the book I chose for this was American Street by Ibi Zaboy. This is about a young woman who had been born in the United States and then went back with her mom to Haiti as a young child and grew up there. And then as a teenager, like almost old, like a, as an older teenager, her mother, her aunt just asks her mother to come and take care of her because she's sick, been doing poorly, she's sick. And so the mother and daughter fly back, but only the daughter is a citizen because she was born here. And so mom gets stopped by border agents and the daughter has to go on, go by herself and meet up with her. She meets up with her cousins in Detroit. And I think this is just a powerful book. And if you haven't read it yet, you should read it. Number seven, sledding. We all loved it when we were younger. Choose a book that you loved when you were a child. And I chose Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Seuss. This was a book that, as a young child, I had memorized and my parents had memorized to the point where they could have the lights off and read it to me in the dark. And as long as they turned the page at the right time, we were both happy. Number eight, Frostbite. Choose a book that you were really disappointed in. And the book I chose is The Martian Chronicles by Ray Bradbury. Now, I didn't hate this book. I, I did give it a four stars, but from the synopsis and what I thought I, it, I was going to be getting going into it, that was not what I got. And so thus, I was disappointed in it. So number nine, Reindeer, something that is dear to us. Choose a book that is of great sentimental value to you. And I have a couple of different of these books and something I noticed is they were all gifted to me over, er, well, three of them were gifted to me as presents. One, the one that I actually am going to talk about, was my grandmother's book, and I borrowed it from her and never gave it back. <laughs> and so it's precious to me because she has passed away, and it was something that I knew that she really liked, which is why I had, I had wanted to read it. And that is The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. I'm not a huge fan of poetry, but I do like 
what I would consider epic poems or poems that tell stories. So I like Beowulf and I like the rhyme of the ancient mariner. This is a story about a group of sailors who end up killing the white albatross and doom has befalled or and doom befalls them from there. So thank you for joining me and I hope everybody has a wonderful winter for those in the northern the northern hemisphere for the southern have a great summer. But this has been my winter is coming but is actually now here tag. Thank you and have a good day.